Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone, with Hearthstone Arena Run number 3. So, there's been an update to the game since I last played. You might notice things look a little bit different. They've updated the art in the menu, and they've made uh, quite a few changes, especially to the normal play mode. Like the the ranked and whatever you call this, I guess, uh, constructed play mode? Yeah, a bunch of changes there, but as far as Arena goes... Um, it's not huge. I get well. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of big. They've upped the maximum amount of wins that you can get from nine to twelve, and they've also restructured the awards that you get. They haven't said how though, so I don't know how they've restructured it. But yes, you can get more wins, and apparently the rewards are restructured. And they've also made some changes to some cards. So that should be interesting. Since I've last played, I've played a little bit of Constructed, so I've gotten my gold up higher than it was before. I now have exactly the right amount to play three more arena runs. Which is pretty cool. But other than that, I have not played Arena. So this third Arena run is literally the third time I've ever played Arena. So let's get into it. I'm really excited. Who have we got? Fuck. <laughs> Three more classes that I don't really want to play. Honestly, I don't really know how to play Mage, even though that's what I've played most in Constructed. I don't really get it. Warlock is weird. Because you have to hurt yourself a lot. There's a lot of self-harming damage that you do to yourself. And Shaman, I, I don't know. God, this is going to be a mess. This is going to be an absolute mess. Um, but, You know, I want to go with Mage because it's the easiest thing. It's probably the best one here in terms of Arena, I'm guessing. In terms of just getting the most wins, but I kind of want to do something else. Just to change things up and have a bit of fun with it. Because if I if I never pick these classes, I'm never no, I'm never gonna know how to play them. So you know what? Everything in my body says take mage. But instead. I think I'm gonna take shaman. Yes, yeah, take shaman. I really don't know what cards they have. Okay. South Sea Captain. Only good if you have a pirate deck. I have no idea if I'm going to get more pirates, so... Nope. Mountain Giant is one hell of a heavy hitter. Hmm. I don't think it's very good. It's... It might be a pretty good card if you're Warlock, because Warlocks tend to easily be able to get a lot of cards in their hand because of their hero power, which allows them to get a card. But for me, no. Doomsayer's weird. At the start of your turn, destroy all... All minions, like, what the hell? That's just weird. I Maybe we can make a play with it? I don't know. Let's pick it. Ooh, Flame Tongue Totem is awesome. Adjacent minions have plus two attack. Silver Moon Guardian's also pretty damn good. Let's go with the Flame Tongue. Good buff. Ooh, Hex. Yeah, I gotta go with Hex. Nice removal. Ooh, Fire, and Fire Elemental's really good. It's basically a decent creature with a removal spell attached to it. Yeah, let's go with Fire Element Elemental. Magma Rager don't care about Silverback Patriarch, don't really care about another Fire Elemental? Yes, please. Well, this sucks. War Golem is just pretty much terrible. It's not a, you know, it's not like a beast. It doesn't have any special abilities. It's a 7-7 seven, seven for 7. That's just not good. Nightblade's pretty... Nightblade's really bad, too. It deals 3 damage to the enemy hero. And for that, you're getting a 4-4 four, four for 5. Ugh. I guess Wind Fury RP. Alright, I've got a lot of heavy hitters at this point. I need some lower cost stuff. Forked Lightning. Deal 2 damage to, the ra uh, to 2 random enemy minions. Overload 2. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm not really used to using Overload. I'm not even entirely sure how it works. I know it removes... Like, Overload means that two of your mana, mana crystals become unusable. And I think you gain back one mana crystal per turn, if I remember right. Uh, but Fort Lightning is a damn good removal spell. But it can kind of screw you over with the Overload. I'm going to go with it. More removal. South Sea Deckhand is terrible for this deck. Uh, Fen Creep is not a bad taunt. 
and I don't have any taunt at the moment. Ventricle Mercenary is also quite good. Hmm. Let's go some taunt. Flame Tongue Totem. I think I will take a second one. Lightning Storm. Okay, so apparently the shamans have a lot of overload. I actually didn't know that. I really don't have much experience with the shamans. Abomination. Abomination's kind of weird. And it's a taunt, and I already have a taunt. So there's no pressing need to take it. Ancient Mage. I don't even know what the hell's up with that card. I, I don't know. Maybe good for a mage character or something. I don't know. Let's go Lightning Storm. Okay, some low-cost stuff. That's good. Raging Worgen is damn good, especially if you have a way to trigger it. Unfortunately, I don't, because I'm not a mage. Or something like that, so I can't easily trigger it. Nor am I a warrior who has something like commanding... What is it? Commanding shout or... I don't know. Warriors have some things that allow you to hurt. And buff. Um, certain targets, which can be used against the enemies or against your own. Or to buff your own. Minions. So it's either Elven Archer or Raging Morgan. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Raging Morgan. Hopefully it'll be like a one attack enemy minion that I can hit with him. Ancestral Healing. Hmm. I don't really like the others, so I think I'm gonna go with Ancestral Healing. I'm not really sure how good of a card that is. It sounds nice. If it's something that has a lot of hit points. Yeah, let's go with that. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, spell damage would be very good, wouldn't it, with my removal? My fourth lightning and my lightning storm? <laughs> Should I go with the third flame tongue totem? Let's go YOLO flame tongue. Flame tongue's fun. It's fun. Alright, some card draw would be quite nice. On the other hand, I don't have any four costers. Maybe I should go with this for my card draw. Let's do that. Fire Elemental. I guess I'm going to be a Fire Elemental in Flame Tongue Totem deck. Once again, I don't... Well, the spell damage. Ooh. I have a... I have... I already have three six costers. I don't know if I want more. I don't think I do. I think two's enough. I'm going to go with the Cobalt Geomancer. Oh my god, stop giving me Fire Elementals. Jesus. Totemic Might. Hmm. I don't really like the Ironforge Rifleman. It's either the Fire Elemental or the Totemic Might. Hmm. Let's go Totemic Might. Holy sh... I... Wait a minute. Shamans have weapons? I didn't even know Shamans had weapons. Okay. That's Overload, though, but... Hmm. It's either that or Earthshock. Silence a minion, then deal one damage to it. Ooh. Hmm. A one cost silence. Plus one damage, which is unlikely to really make much of a difference, but the silence alone is pretty... But, you know, no. I mean, weapon. You have to take a weapon. Weapons are awesome in Arena. Okay, these are all good. These, these are all good. How many creatures do I have at the two cost? I have a lot of two costs, but are the creatures? I have a Doomsayer and a Cobalt Geomancer. I need some. I need some real creatures at two costs, and a Doomsayer is not a real creature. That's a weird card. So to go with removal or Mad Bomber? I go with Mad Bomber. Whoa! Hello. Okay, what do these do? Ragnaros. That would fill out my heavy hitters. Can't attack at the end of your turn, deal 8 damage to a random enemy. Low Walker. Lore Walker Cho. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a copy into the other player's hand. It's kind of a weird one. Blood Mage Thalnus. What does that do? Spell damage plus 1. Death Rattle draw a card. Uh, that doesn't seem very good. 
it dies to any, like, it dies to the... The mage's hero power and the rogue's hero power. It does replace itself because there's draw a card, but I'm going to go with Ragnaros. Especially because imagine what I can do with this. If, like, okay, you can put Ragnaros out there and it might get silenced, which will get rid of this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you silence Ragnaros, wouldn't that mean it could attack? I just realized that because it would remove this can't attack. Maybe you don't want to silence Ragnaros. Hmm. I hadn't considered that. But I was just thinking, if I can bind Ragnaros with... Where is it? Ancestral Healing. Restore a minion to full health and give it taunt. That could be pretty freaking awesome. Let's go with that. Blood Sail Corsair is crap. Mana Addict. Could be good. I got a decent amount of spells. Master Swordsmith. Mm, could be nice. How many spells do I actually have? Fort Lightning, Totemic Might, Ancestral Healing. It could be good. But I'm going to go with Master Swordsmith. Alright, this is easy. Silver Moon Guardian. Yeah, Magma Rager can't keep it alive. Rock Reckless Rocketeer once again. I can't really keep it alive. But the Divine Shield means there's a pretty good chance it's going to two for one. Young Dragonhawk, way too weak. Fire Elemental, oh god, I don't need... I don't want a third one. I really don't. Hmm, Dust Devil. Dust Devil, that's a weird card. I don't want it, it's weird. It's really weird. If you can get it out, like, turn one, it can be amazing. But the chance of you actually getting it turn one is pretty freaking low. With Wind Fury, that means it can attack twice, and with 3 damage, that means it could do 6 damage per turn. But anything, anything, even a Fireball, or a Fire Blast, I mean, or the Rogue's Weapon, will take it out. So... Eh... I... Another Fire Elemental, I guess? Please stop giving me these high costers. Okay, this is better. Iron Forge Rifleman, don't like Raid Leader. Eh... It dies really easily. I'm gonna go with the Razor Fan Hunter. Ancient Mage, eh... Man Addict. Eh. Emperor Cobra. Eh? I, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have that many spells, really. I have a decent amount, but the thing is, if I use a spell, most likely I'm already going to kill what I want to kill. So, means I'd probably end up using the attack on the opposing player's face? Not really sure. I'm gonna go with it. Oh my god! I could have had like five flame tongue totems by now. That would have been funny. Earthen Ring Farseer? Um. I don't know, it's okay. I mean, Restore 3 Health could be very nice to get, like, maybe, for example, you put it out behind a taunt wall, and so you restore the health of your taunt. Could be quite nice. I mean, this Wolf Rider, it's just a suicide thing. I mean, it's good in, like, a warrior deck, maybe, if you're trying to rush down, but I don't think I'm going to be rushing down in a shaman deck. This is a shaman deck, right? Not the druid. Oh god, I don't even know the answer to that. Oh boy, this is going to be fun, isn't it? The misplays are going to be strong in this arena run. I already know this is going to be a mess. <sighs> Another flame tongue. Sure, four flame tongues. Why not? What could go wrong? This is going to be fun. There's no reason. I'm not going to take this game too seriously. Sometimes I can play a game just for fun. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with this. I, I'm pretty sure this is a Shaman deck. Let's have fun with it. I've got three Fire Elementals and four Flame Tongue Totems. What could possibly go wrong? And my mana curve looks like a fucking Skyscraper on the two. So, that's great. Archmage. I don't need more sixes. Lepronome. That's actually a good early card. Direwolf Alpha. It can be nice, but honestly though, this adjacent minions have plus one attack. I don't need I don't need plus attack bonuses with all my flame tongue totems. That pretty much covers that. Let's give the leper gnome. 
Oh yeah, this is um this is actually one of the cards that they nerfed in the newest patch. So the the Shattered Sun Cleric used to be a three three, now it's a three two. So it's got a little bit of a debuff there. Although I think it's still pretty good, probably. Okay, well it's either that or the River Crocolisk. Um, how are my two costers looking? Doomsayer, which I don't consider a real two coster. That's just a weird card. Cobalt Geomancer, Mad Bomber, Mana Addict. I I need more solid two costers. How many three costers do I have? As far as actual minions go, I mean, Raging Morgan and Razor Fan Hunter. Okay, I'm gonna go with the River Crocolisk. Frostwolf Grunt, don't really care for. Raid Leader, don't really care for. Totemic Might. Okay, apparently the deck I'm creating is a a Flame Tongue Totem deck where I'm going to put I'm gonna have Flame Tongue Totems buffing Flame Tongue Totems, which yes can happen, and I'm going to be giving them plus health. So my Flame Tongue Totems are going to carry me through. They're going to be my minions. And in fact, I can even make a Flame Tongue Totem a taunt creature if I wanted to. Restore a minion to full health and give a taunt. I I guess I'm gonna be doing that. This actually could be very hilarious. Ooh. Give a friendly character plus three attack this turn. Can you use that on yourself? I have no idea if you can. Alright, one coster. Uh, I don't really want more one costers. Seven coster. Um, well, I don't have any, but I have an eight coster. That's a solid card. But do I need late game punch? I have three fire elementals, a wind fury harpy, and a ragnaros. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going for like a flame tongue rushdown sort of deck. Not maybe a rushdown deck, but... Uh, maybe I should go with this. I'm gonna go with the rock biter weapon. Alright, last card. Hmm, hmm. Okay, this is an interesting choice. This is hard. These are all good cards. Questing Adventure is something that can go out of control extremely quickly. I mean, think about it. Whenever you play a card, gain plus one, plus one. So if you play one card after it, you have a 3-3 three, three for three, which is mediocre. If you play two cards, you have a 4-4 four, four for three, which is amazing. And any more than that just makes it even more amazing. So if you can play two cards after it, you have incredible value. Um, Feral Spirit is nice... Very nice. It gets a ton of taunt out there. And the taunts have a decent punch because they're two threes. So that means a lot of early costers that have maybe around two hit points can die to them. Defender of Argus is also very good. Honestly, I like Feral Spirit though because it'll allow me to protect my Flame Tongue Totems, which are probably going to carry me through this. So let's go with that. Okay. I've never played this class before, I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm not used to using Overload, and I have a very weird mana curve, and I also have some a fucking weird deck with four Flame Tongue Totems, and I could have had more, and three Fire Elementals. I am really fast, I'm really interested to see what the hell's gonna happen, I have no idea. This is gonna be strange. I'm probably gonna completely lose, but this also could be amazing, maybe? We shall see. It's going to be interesting, I have no doubt about that. I'm already interested. Just based on what I've seen so far. How the hell am I going to play that? I've never seen anyone play this kind of a deck. Ever. There's my flame tongue. Ooh, bunch of two costers. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm probably not going to be casting a spell this early. Let's go to these two. Okay. You're going second, so you get the coin. Use it wisely. Yes, th <laughs> thank you, I know. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings friend. Well, there's one of my three fire elementals. I could get a Master Swordsmith out, which actually wouldn't be a terrible idea. It's kind of a it's kind of a bad idea. I mean, it would kill it. 
Hmm. Hmm. Kind of sucks. I can't really do much next turn. Well, whatever. Bring me steel. Yeah, unfortunately, its ability is not going to do anything. But um, they're probably going to choose to use their Lepernome against me. Lepernome against me. Hmm. Kind of wish I saved my coin for Lightning Storm, but then again, that would have been a two overload, which is kind of over the top. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking... I wonder. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this. And then... I'm gonna do this. And let's do that. That was, um... What the fuck did I just do? Wait a minute. Oh. Well, that's a good start to the game. I've already completely misplayed everything. I mix up the Ancestral Healing with the, um... The one that gives plus health to the... You know, the one that gives plus health to the... Totems. The one I don't have. I... Fuck. Okay. That was a major misplay. Well, Lightning Storm, Storm would be a massive waste here. Let's just do this and see what I get. Resort one health to all friendly minions. Great. Well, I've seriously fucked up. I told you the misplays would be happening. And they've already started. At least I have a card advantage. Ooh, Feral Spirit. It's looking pretty good right about now. Lightning Storm would only kill one thing. I'm thinking Feral Spirit. What else? I could wait till next turn and then play a Fen Creeper. Has six health, they'd be able to just get through it. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, that overload's gonna kinda screw me. So next turn, I'm going to have... How much, I don't even know how much mana I'm going to have next turn. I, hope you like my I think one of these... Uh, how do you know how Overload works? I think one of these is going to go away next turn, so I'll end up with... Four mana? Because I'll gain one, plus one will go away, I think. Oh, God. I see a lightning storm in my future. Yes, I do. Oh, never mind, I have three. Yeah. Definitely a lightning storm. Now I'm so overloaded that I can't... I can't really do anything. Look at this. I have overloads on top of overloads. Yeah, I really don't know how overloads work. I, I rarely see them used, and I rarely see classes played in arena that actually have overload. So I'm pretty sure I've just, like, lost at this point. Yeah, I mean, fuck. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea how to play this deck. And I made a major misplay in the beginning. This is bad. But hey! I have Totemic Might. Alright, what do we get? Please give me a taunt. Of course it's not a taunt. This is what I thought I was playing at the beginning, but for some reason I just got it messed up. I mean, fuck. Right, well, I have one more turn of turn of life. 10, 12, 14. They can do 14 damage to me. So, the chance of me surviving. Next turn. At this point, is pretty much non-existent. I'm pretty sure I have nothing that's going to carry me through this. I didn't think I had this many high costers. Where my, where's my lower cost? What the fuck? Ragnaros? 
what are you doing here? Go away. Is there anything I can do? Is there literally anything I can do? That's not going to work. Well you win. <laughs> There's no point. There's absolutely nothing I can do to avoid the pain train that was coming my way. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't know how to play this class. I don't know what I'm doing. At least it's, education it's educational, though. I have a feeling this is going to be a rather short episode. So if you look down at the time and the, the length of the video is like 40 minutes, you know what happened. I lost all my games. What the hell was I thinking in the beginning there? I wonder if that cost me the game or if I would have been screwed anyway. I don't know. I don't know how to play Overload. I don't. I don't get Overload. It changes everything. I will fight with honor for Doomhammer. Okay, well, I can put... I can put Doomsayer on the board. Uh, this is... Actually, this is a very good start. Except... Do oh, fuck. I should have gotten rid of Doomsayer. Why did I keep it? That's a late game card. That that's a clear the board card. Kind of. Oh, perfect. Greetings. At least I have Ragnaros. Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure how Doomsayer is exactly supposed to be used. I guess it's good for getting rid of the board. But... The problem is it only activates at the start of your turn. Not at the end. Which means you have to endure... One turn of the opponent. However, the opponent obviously has to play around it. Because they know whatever they play is going to be destroyed next turn. Flave Dung Dotem. Well, this is an easy pick. Mad Bomber. Gee, thank you, Mad Bomber. I like the fact that every single time your explosive barrels went somewhere, there was a 50-50 chance of it hitting them or me, and for some reason, all three of them went to my face. Fuck you. <sighs> Alright, next turn, I can just punch any two-health minion in the face with my Stormforged Axe. I'm not exactly sure how you forge an axe in a storm. Sounds rather dangerous and precarious. Or I could use the Flame Tongue Totem to buff it up. My Mad Bomber. But obviously, adjacent minions have plus two attack. That's obviously a better thing to use when... It's obviously a better thing to use when... When you have more than one minion on the board. Alright, that thing has an Enrage, so if I kill it, I want to kill it. Unfortunately, my Stormforged Axe will not. So, pulling it out now is pretty much pointless. Hmm. <laughs> okay. For... Alright, I'm gonna do this. Get five damage out of him. And if you want to go for it and kill it, be my guest. Because you're going to die too, so your enrage will not even pop. Unfortunately, this flame tongue is probably going to die very soon. Don't know if that was the best play. I know, it's kind of a rush down tactic, which is not necessarily the best idea. You usually don't want to rush down someone unless you really have something to back it up with. And I don't. Like, what the hell do I do next turn? No mission inventor? whoop de doo See, that thing can just kill it. <laughs> and still stay alive. That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously just gonna go for the damn flame tongue totem. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? And there's no way I can kill it. Absolutely none. So the question is, do I Razor Fan Hunter or Gnomish Inventor? Do I need a card? I kind of do need a card, plus this thing will trade favorably. With the Scarlet Crusader. Hmm. Give a friendly character. This is another thing I don't know. I don't know if that includes yourself. I mean, it says character, which I believe does mean it can include you, but... 
I'm not certain. I could give me some nice reach with my weapon. I could have a five damage weapon. Oh, you're gonna leave that alive, huh? Not sure that's a great idea. Ah, if there's only some way to do damage to that damn Scarlet Crusader without touching with my face, because I'm gonna have to take some damage here. Hmm. Let's do that. And let's take you out. Maybe I should have gone for the Dark Iron Dwarf. I don't know. I'll just play that. Maybe I should have played the Dark Iron Dwarf. I mean, played it. <laughs> Attacked it. With the Rockbiter weapon. That's assuming the Rockbiter weapon actually worked. Again, on me. I don't know. Ah, so many things I don't know. Humility. Nice play. Allow the Dark Iron Dwarf to survive. Hmm. Oh shit. I have I have absolutely no idea what the secrets of the Paladin are. Lightning Storm. Hmm. I kind of want a lightning storm. What to do? It's not going to kill everything, though. But it will have a punch you in the face. Redemption. One of your minions dies to return it to life with one health. Okay. You're still alive. That's rather inconvenient. So, I'm thinking, fuck you. Actually, that was kind of stupid. I mean, it, end it ended up okay. But what I should have done is use my Totemic All and see if I got a Taunt Creature. Because if I got a Taunt Creature, then I could have used my damage to attack the enemy hero instead of kind of wasting it on the dwarf on the dark iron dwarf but it turned out to be a healing totem so it doesn't matter this flame tongue totem is doing work if only I could get another one <laughs> it's time for a little blood. hmm unfortunately I've got tons of overload on me so that blows Let's see. Hmm. All right, this is going to be kind of embarrassing for them. I'm going to kill your Fen Creeper with a healing totem. Like I said, this Flame Tongue totem is doing work. Mana Addict. Do I want to put you out? Kinda. Sure. You gain attack. For this turn. On the turn you can't attack. Actually, how did you gain attack? I don't think I played a spell, did I? Does a Totemic Call count as a spell? I don't know if it does. Hmm. Alright, is this overload going away? I, I still don't know how this overload works. I haven't been paying attention. I don't even know how much mana I'm going to have next turn. Thankfully, we're getting into the late game, where it looks like I have quite a few uh, heavy hitters here. <laughs> I can play Ragnaros! Oh boy.
Should I play Ragnaros? What to do? It's not exactly the greatest of plays. Well, at the least, I think I should kill you. Eh, what the hell. Who are you gonna hit? Who are you gonna hit? Oh, you hit the 1-1 one, one with your 8 damage. That's wonderful. Alright, at least good luck dealing with my Ragnaros, unless, of course, you have some sort of a polymorph equivalent. I don't know if a pa paladins have a polymorph equivalent. Wait a minute, what the hell? Wait, I don't understand, the Mana Addict. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus two attack or whatever this turn. How come she still had it? The turn had been over, right? I don't get it. Wait, why does Ragnaros now have ten? Oh, two attack from Flame Tongue Totem, duh. I wasn't paying attention to what was happening, I was reading the thing. Thing my jig. Yeah. Alright. They have enough damage on the board to do seven. They can almost take out my Ragnaros. <laughs> this thing's a beast if I can buff it. If only I had something that had taunt. But I don't. I might, if I do the totemic call. Hmm. Five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight. Let's see what we get here. What does that do? Spell damage. Shall not fall. All right, good luck dealing with that. Who are you gonna hit? You hit the one one again. Out of the four enemy targets, you hit the one one again. Thank you, Ragnaros. I love you too. Yeah, they can't take out my Ragnaros with what they have at the moment. I wonder. So they're probably going to focus on taking out as much damage potential as possible? Yeah. For the crusade. Okay. Reporting for duty. Totemic Might. Which is kind of pointless at this point. Well, might as well do this at least. Let's just see what happens. What do I get? Restore one health. Okay, that could be nice. Right. What trades will? You have five health. Five, six. I'm going to lose Ragnaros no matter what. It's pretty much guaranteed. In fact, it is guaranteed. All right, just take that out. I guess just play my Wind Fury. And let's see what happens. Who are you going to hit? Thank you. That's better. <laughs> Owie. Wait a minute. Wait. Five, six. Oh, no. They still have enough damage to take out Ragnaros. Damn. I was thinking maybe the heal had taken it above, but no. Nope. They have six, uh, yeah, six damage on the board. Wait. What are you... Wait, but now you can't kill Rag... Uh, I guess the chance of Ragnaros actually dealing damage to them is pretty low. And they're almost back up to full. Oh, you're gonna rush me down, are you? Reporting for duty. Okay. It's actually not a bad idea. I can make their board very, very weak, can't I? Let's see what we get with this. Small damage plus. No, well, I guess we'll just hex that. Remember, kill for loss. Oh yeah, shit. Gives it taunt. Fuck, that might not have been a good idea. Remember, Whatever. I still have a lot of damage on the board. Maybe I should have left it alone.
Alright. Thankfully, I, I definitely have a large advantage here because they've run out of cards and... Well, that thing's gonna die. I have so much damage. Restore a minion to full, health, and give it taunt. They're gonna have to get through my Ragnaros, I think. Depending on what I get here. Oh, it's just a little damage thing. Hmm. Remember, kill for luck. All right, you want to get to me? Why don't you come through my Ragnaros? Have fun with that. Of course, they actually can't take it out. With everything they have on their board, aside from the Tazdingo. Reporting for duty. Looks like that's what they're gonna do. Mm hmm. I actually don't have enough damage potential here. Ooh, maybe I do. Hold on. Can I kill them? I believe I. can. Yeah. GG. Buffs it up to five, takes out you. Well played. Whew. Yeah, I don't know how to play this deck. This is weird. Bloodlust. Oh, apparently it's a daily quest to win two games with Shaman or Warlock. I didn't even know that. At least I won one. If I can get to three wins, I'm happy. Hello, Fire Elemental. I will keep you, Flangdum, Flang Tongue, Flame Tongue Totem, but not you. Eh, it's not bad. Greetings, friend. Looks like they have nothing either. Ooh, two flame tongue totems, okay. Bomber! More good than bad. I'll take it. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Ah, <sighs> we're in the very inconvenient position. Well, oh my god. The very inconvenient position where once again, my weapon can't quite do enough damage. And if I attack it, it's just going to enrage it. God damn it. Okay. Once again, I made the mistake of not doing that to see whether it was a taunt. If it was a taunt, I could have just attacked them. But once again, it turned out to not be. <laughs> oh, this is going to be embarrassing for them again. I could use a flame tongue totem. To then kill the fairy dragon. Or I c I don't want to overload really. Hmm. Double Flame Tongue Totem. Yes, they buff each other. <laughs> if you combine those, if you put a Raging Morgan in the middle of two Flame Tongue Totems and somehow manage to activate its Wind Fury and Enrage, oh my god. What would you have? Okay, you get plus one attack, that's four. Wind Fury allows it to attack twice. 
So 4 plus 2 plus 2 would be 8. 8 times 2, 16. It could do 16 damage. Between two flame tongue totems, with it enraged. God. That would be a raging, raging worgen. What? Did you just fireball a flame tongue totem? Why? I'm sorry, but that seems like a massive waste. Okay. If you want, I totally accept that. Is it Raging Morgan time? Hmm. Let's not. Let's do this. I wonder if you can use your own weapon against one of your own, because I could potentially hit it and get it down to one health. Of course, then it would just die to the Fire Blast. So that'd be a one-turn thing. Hmm. Ready, sir. Well, you're gonna die. Ooh. Deal three damage. I like it. Alright, kill you. Like I said, removal spell. Wait a minute. Why the fuck did I play the fire elemental on the right, away from the buff of the flame tongue totem? Wow, that is a total misplay. What the hell? Why did I do that? I wasn't even thinking about it. See, I'm not... There's a lot of things I just don't think about. Like placement of... Placement of your cards and... That's inconvenient. Oh, if only I could play the Ragnaros. Alright, see what we get. Please be a heal. I actually want it. Oh, it is a heal. Sweet! That's gonna undo all the damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this here. And then I'm gonna buff all my totems health. <laughs> Good luck getting rid of my totems. And then I'll just play the Raging Worgen for the lols. Sure. Even if they have a flame strike. I hope I they see this this is the turn they'd have a flame strike. It costs seven mana, but I'm still gonna have quite a bit alive. Including my fire elemental, thankfully. I'd have my fire elemental and my flame tongue totem and my other flame tongue totem. Thankfully they don't. Okay. I might have yeah, that might have been overextending myself there, however, it looks to have paid off. Because they apparently do not have a flame strike, or they most certainly would have used it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay. Well, that's an easy 7-7 seven, seven right there. Then I use something that does 5 damage. Unfortunately, that would kill you, Raging Worgen. Um, I guess my Fire Elemental. Unless, hold on, I could punch you in the face. Alright, well, I'm certainly doing this, so I might as well do that. Punch you in the face, and then I need something that... Actually, no, I don't have anything that does that little damage. Um, two to two damage, two... No, I just gotta... I just gotta hit you. And let's play Ragnaros. And we know exactly who's that gonna hit. Who... Who is it gonna hit, I wonder? The only enemy. <laughs> Guaranteed eight damage against the enemy. There's almost nothing they could do at this point. Even a flame strike would still leave enough alive that I'm pretty sure I have lethal next turn. I mean, I would have. Hold on. How, what, actually, maybe not. I actually don't think I would have lethal next turn. 
No, I wouldn't. A flame strike would remove everything except my two flame tongue totems and Ragnaros. And I even have another flame tongue totem. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, well played. Well played. This is a weird deck, that's for sure. Oh, there's gold for my daily quest. Win two games with Shaman or Warlock. Okay, well after my pathetic showing in the first game, I'm actually doing okay. Although I'm still making misplays. Once again, as long as I can get to three wins, I will be happy. Everything above that will just be icing on the cake. Yeah, I really don't like overload guards at this point. But I think that's just because I don't understand them. Thrall versus Thrall. Hello, sweet coffee. The elements will destroy you. I will keep everything but fire elemental. I actually have a turn one play. That's pretty rare. Hello. My beautiful, beautiful flame tongue totems. Yeah, if only this weapon did three damage. Two damage just isn't enough to kill a lot of things. I'm just amazed that I actually have something to play on turn one. That's not very common. <laughs> Another flame tongue totem. Coining a two-cost. <laughs> ah. Very inconvenient level of health there. However, what you did not foresee... ...is this. Flametongue Totem! The death rattle of the Leper Gnome does two damage to the enemy hero. See, <laughs> the funny thing is, they seem to see the person seems to think that there's no way I could do any damage on the board, right? Because I only have a totem. I could flame tongue my flame tongue, but you know what? There isn't even a need to do that, is there? Goodbye. Of course, what I can play next turn is highly limited. Oh, you're dead too. Flame tongue my flame tongues. Or I could continue to wear down your cards. Which I think is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I kinda wanna save these. Guide me. Oh. And next turn I can attack with my healing totem. Which is hilarious. It really is funny when you can kill creatures and do damage with a healing totem. It's like I'm attacking them with a piece of wood. Talk about insulting, huh? Hmm. I bet they think I have no idea. I bet they think I have no way through that. Like, I only have a couple totems on the board. What could I possibly do? Hmm. You know what I could do? I could do this. <laughs> flame tongues on flame tongues. Even my Searing Totem can do three damage. And next turn, I can play my Fire Elemental, which can deal three damage, which is has a pretty good chance of removing whatever they put on the board. And if it doesn't, I could always just sacrifice my Searing Totem, I suppose. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah, you really need to get rid of those flame tongue totems. Oh. Ouch. Oh, is this silence too? Aw, oh, fuck you. Damn your silence to hell. Okay. Hmm. 
I want to keep my fire elemental at in my hand so I can remove their creatures. So instead, I'm going to draw a card. Let's see what I get. Cobalt Geomancer. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and play that. Alright, so next turn, most likely what I'm going to end up doing is using the Fire Elemental to remove whatever they put on the board, such as that, for example. I'll just sacrifice my Searing Totem against it. Or, I, actually, actually, that's a terrible play. Is the Mad Bomber a terrible play? It kind of is. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, when you have more minions on the board than your enemy does... <sighs> Mad Bomber's usually a bad play. Okay. Okay. Hold on, let's see what we get here. Do I get another taunt? I don't. Let's... Let's go ahead and put you there. Then I'm going to take you out, and you will stay alive, and you're also going to get healed next turn. Master Swordsmith. Sure. Let's just attack you. <laughs> My frog now can actually do damage. Yeah, sacrifice your Searing Totem. Froggy did some work. I think I'm just gonna Fen Creeper. Toad him up. Just go straight for him. Yeah. They can't even get through my taunt wall this turn. I've got lots of stuff. Not a lot, surprisingly not a lot of damage, though. <clears throat> God damn hex. Alright, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna remove? Yeah. That's probably the best thing to remove. What the hell can I actually do? I have so many things, but most of them are just useless. I could wipe the board with Doomsayer. Awkward. Very, very awkward, this. I wonder. Hey, give me a minute. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. Goddamn cult master. Shit. Fuck it. YOLO. Let's not give him any more cards. I'm not going to attack any of the other things. <laughs> Everything's going to be wiped, which might not be a good idea, because I they have a card advantage. 
Well, maybe not a card advantage. They have the same number of cards. And... I... Yeah, they're gonna sacrifice stuff to get cards. Shit. They have a massive card advantage now. Massive. Fucking massive. And... I'm gonna remove all my stuff. Was that a good play? I don't think that was a good play. I don't know how to play Doomsayer. Doomsayer's weird. <laughs> you really want your cards, don't you? How about no, though? Shall I see what Mad Bomber does first? Let's see what Mad Bomber does. Maybe I'll get lucky. Come on, come on. Ooh, lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Alright, so next turn I can do quite a bit of damage and hex whatever they have, which will actually give me more damage potential. Oh, shit. That is a big thing, but I can hex it. I'm so glad I kept that hex. I was going to use it if the Mad Bomber didn't work. And I can get a taunt wall up at the same time. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, we're definitely going to hex that thing. There's no doubt about that. Do I want a Feral Spirit? I don't. I actually don't. And the reason I don't... ...is because if I put some taunts up, that thing's gonna be able to attack the taunts and trigger its... Uh, oh shit. And trigger its... Um, sort of enraged thing. Whereas if it just attacks my taunt there that had no damage potential, well, it wouldn't have worked. Aren't you dead next turn? Two, three, four, five. Oh no, I'm one damage potential short. Shit. Never mind. GG. Well played. Whew. <laughs> I've gotten flame tongue totems. Well, if I ever play this um this class again and construct it, I guess I'm just gonna get all the flame tongue totems I can. Well, I've now achieved three wins, so I'm now happy no matter what happens. How am I winning? I'm making stupid plays. Like that play with the doomsayer was terrible. Oh my god, I gave my opponent so many cards. What the hell was I thinking? And it was more harmful to me than it was to them, because. God, it was terrible all around. They used up their cards to get themselves card draw before I wiped the board. And it wiped more of my minions than theirs because they had already removed their minions getting cards. It's just uh, horrible. And then to make it worse, they put the thing on the... On the, uh... What the hell's it called? The... What is that thing called? The card draw thing. Whatever it was. Uh, the Cult Master. They put a thing on it that allows it to come back after it dies, so it even freaking came back. Not good. Don't want that, don't need mana this early. Silver Moon Guardian, um, no. Maybe I should have kept it, but, oh no, that's pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. <laughs> uh. Greetings, friend. It's already started. There's gonna be more. Well, I have tons of removal, that's for sure. Put this apple on your head. Now, I would rather not put the apple on my head, but thank you. Thank you for the offer. Doomsayer, hello card that I'm probably never going to play. Ah, I really don't want to overload. Hmm. 
I can't just Raging Worgen, though. It would just die. Alright. I guess we'll do this. And this. And now we're back to the weird land of Overload. Well, I can kill that with my Searing Totem. Which is precisely what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kill it with the hero power, shapeshift. It's alright, I have three more. Ouch. <laughs> I could Lightning Storm. I could Raging Worgen, but it's just gonna die. Do I just keep removing without putting anything on the board? It's gonna screw what I can play next turn. I wonder. Hold on, let's see what we get. Oh, buffs the spell damage, not that it matters. Ah, fine. Pay attention, class. Alright, I'm pretty much out of removal at this point. And that's a spell, so it summons a... Uh... Alright. I could... I could kill it. And once again be left with nothing on the board. Let's do it. I bet they're not expecting this one. Yep. Killed by a Wrath of Air Totem. Yeah, I don't want a Totemic Might. Not with just one on the board. And nothing to actually get buffed from it. It could very easily just be killed by something. So we're kind of in a standoff here, and I'm using- I'm burning a lot of cards to- Oh my god! I'm burning a lot of cards to keep this up, and I'm overloaded at the same time, which means I'm at a disadvantage, so I'm really not doing well. Oh, yeah, or they could just do that. Forgot about that. Okay. Where does that leave me? I can do three damage, that's nice. I could Doomsayer! <laughs> Should I Doomsayer? Actually, that might be a good play. Would it? Wind Fury Harpy would die. Fire Elemental would not kill that. And it would die. Unless I killed off one of them. And now you just hit it. Shit. Let's see what I get. Okay. Yellow. <laughs> now they're gonna have to play around it. That's the fun part. Like, they can't really put anything on the board. Anything they put on the board is just gonna be wasted. Which means the best thing to do would be to kill this off with the two 1-1s one -ones and then use the 3 damage of the Fen Creeper against me, because that's the most value they can get out of their current cards. Before everything dies. You're a weird card, Doomsayer. Next turn, I can play Fire Elemental and a Totem. <laughs> yeah, it's it's awkward. 
Playing around that is awkward. Man, look at how nasty those stone claw totems look. Look at their faces. Look evil. I wonder what's going through their head. What are they thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? They don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, this isn't something I normally do because I actually have mostly forgotten that you can do it, but you can actually play around with the board a lot. Like, almost everything can be clicked on, as you can see. Yeah, break the box! Wow, they really have no idea what to do. Um, can their turn actually last this long? I feel like this is longer than... Like, shouldn't, shouldn't the timer be coming out right about now? Did something bug out? What, what's going on? What to do? Okay, I think something bugged out. Yeah, this doesn't... This doesn't... Yeah, the turn can't last this long. Something's wrong. Keep in mind, this game is in beta. It is not finished, so it does have bugs. And plus, they just they've just deployed a new patch. I think it's today, or yesterday. Yeah, something's wrong. Shit. Thing is, though, at the moment, I believe if you disconnect from a match. Oh wait, what the hell? They're still here. What? But how come the turn didn't? I saw them move. <laughs> Turns can't last this long. They last like what a minute, I think. Uh, what is even happening? What the hell was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. My greetings. I, hello. Greetings, friend. What the fuck's happening? Turns, turns can't last this long. This isn't possible. Uh, I think it's a bug for both of us. Unfortunately, you're unable to chat. So we can't really... I can't really ask them if something's wrong. Did I just see a black line appear in the middle of the screen? What the hell was that? Okay, I think we're both screwed here. Oh yeah, what I was going to say is, if you disconnect from a match, even if your internet goes out, and that's why you disconnect from a match, it's, I believe it's automatically counted as a loss, no matter what. So if we're forced to disconnect, I think we're both, we might both get counted as a loss or something like that. Alright, so they're, they're there, obviously, you can see them moving around. At least they were a minute ago, but something's wrong with the game, not with them, but just the game in general, because the turn would have ended, even, even if they played nothing. The turn would have ended by now, so... What the fuck? I, should I... Should I even emote? I... I don't know. What... What is happening? What do I do? If I... If I disconnect, I'm just... Gonna lose. It'll be counted as a loss. Okay, well, I'm going to wait this out, and I'm going to cut until something happens, so I'll be right back. Whoa. O okay, they just played something. It only took, like, what, three to five minutes? Okay? Interesting. Wait, what? Wait, what? How? I... Wait, What? I... I don't even know what just happened. Wait. Uh. Oh, everything got lagged up, and now it's acting as if I didn't play any of my turns, and all of their actions are getting queued up. What the fuck? 
Maybe my client lagged out. Or my internet went down or something. I don't know. Okay. That's weird, though, because I could still obviously see what they were doing, at least somewhat. I saw them flicking around their cards and they emoted. Yeah. That was weird. Remember, the game is in beta. It is not finished, and I guess you can see why. Huh. Okay. Well, that sucked. That must have sucked for them. All they saw was, I guess, they played their turn and then they just had to wait for, like, a minute for me while I did nothing. Weird. Huh? Well, again. Again, I have three wins, so I'm happy, no matter what. Hmm. Not bad. I'm actually gonna stick with this. Yeah. I like it. Lots of buffing potential. Let's hope I don't lag out again. Should I get the Cobalt Geomancer out? Should I? Should I? Alternatively, I could get a Silver Moon Guardian out turn three. Yeah, let's do it. Greetings, friend. I mean, it buffs up my Lightning Storm, but of course, that's a little bit over the top to do three to four damage on turn three. Hello. Wanna blow something up? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, don't. Oh, you. Ugh, Mad Bomber. You bastard. Okay, I either totem or I rock by weapon. Can you? Can I apply this to myself? I can. Now I know. Not sure if that was the best use of it. I mean, I just used a one cost and took three damage in the process of removing a two cost creature. Maybe not the best. But it's done, and I can't take it back. Hmm. That sucks for me. I could Mana Addict and then it would instantly die. I'm just gonna Totem. Ooh, I got very, very lucky. That's the perfect one I need right now. It's gonna absorb that damage and pop its Divine Shield. There was a 1 in 3 chance of that happening. I might... Oh, actually, oh, it's not going to pop the shield. It doesn't have any damage. That's right. Hmm. Silver Moon Guardian. I'm thinking Silver Moon Guardian. Yeah, they could kill it, but it would take two of their creatures. So two for one's not bad, even if it is a weak, you know... Loot Hoarder's not exactly strong. On the other hand, the no -wish Inventor would also two for one and get, me, and get me a card. Let's do that. Let's get a card. Of course, I could just choose to ignore it. Which might be what they do. Oh wait, never mind. That's not going to two for one. What am I talking about? That's not going to two for one at all. Oh, they're not even going to go for it. They're going for me. Okay. What the hell do I play? Hmm. Unfortunately, I have no way of doing damage to pop that shield. Otherwise, I could do damage to the Silverhand Knight, and if the shield was popped, use Lightning Storm to get rid of everything. Alas, I cannot. I could Flame Tongue to take out the biggest. What to do? 
Let's see what I get here. Excellent. Okay. Hmm. Does it matter what I play at this point? Well... I don't know if that was a good play. Let's see, what are they gonna do? Uh, they're gonna take out my taunt with probably the Scarlet Crusader and then take out my. Or you could just kill it using that. God damn it! <sighs> the crazed. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! I've just lost this game. I just lost so hard. Okay. Okay. I don't even have any taunt. This will kill two of their creatures. Taking five damage off the board. Leaving me with enough to do what? Fuck all, that's what. I could do this, which would kill... Scarlet Crusader? No. Do they have lethal? Ten. They almost have lethal next turn. Fuck. Let's do that. And let's hope I get a taunt. Please give me a taunt. Nope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've lost this. I mean, what the hell could I have done? I could have fire elemental and kill one, and then... Uh, I don't know. I could have... It might have been better to fire elemental and then do damage to the Silverhand Knight. And then next turn, Fork Lightning, which would get rid of everything except the Blood Knight. Yeah, unless I have something magical here, I'm dead. Oh, God. I'm so dead. Unless I get a taunt. That's not a taunt. Even if I get a taunt, I'm dead. I need two taunts, or a really powerful taunt. I don't have it. Alright, well played. Well played. Okay. Well, that was very interesting. Totemic Might, a card that um, I thought would be amazing with all my Flame Tongue Totems, but I've barely used. That was your third loss. Use your phrase key to see what you've earned. I know, I know. Alright, before I see what I've gotten... Yeah, let me just say, that was an interesting game, because again, I've never played this class before. I wasn't sure how to play it. As you can obviously see, I don't know how to play it. I don't know how to use Overload. I'm not used to using the Hero Power. And the kind of gambling nature of the Hero Power. Where you need to really plan around the potential of getting a taunt or something like that. So I wasn't smartly using that. I made a bunch of misplays. But I also got screwed over on the one game where I lost because either my internet lagged out or the game bugged out or something. I'm not sure what happened there, but... Yeah, that definitely wasn't a fair loss. Something went wrong. But for the most part, I lost because my deck was weird and I had no idea how to play it. But it was definitely a learning experience. Yeah, when I see those classes, when I see those classes that I don't know how to play, I think it's important that at least some of the time, maybe not all of the time, but some of the time I pick them because you're never going to learn how to play them if you don't use them. Of course, I don't necessarily have to use them in Arena, I could use them in Constructed to learn them, which is probably a better idea. But yeah, it's fun to try new things, and it ended up with a pretty hilarious deck with all those Flame Tongue Totems. So I thought that was pretty damn interesting. Alright, so they say they've restructured the awards for Arena. So let's see if we notice any anything differently. I believe at three wins you're unlikely to get much much gold at all. Usually it's just like a pack and then a bunch of dust. So let's see what we get. Hmm. That's less items than there usually are. Whoa. That's different. That okay. That's quite different. Yeah, I mean, 
Hold on. My f- uh, arena run number one, my first game, didn't I finish 4-3 and I got, f- what was it, like five gold? It was almost none. It was mostly just uh, dust, arcane dust, which is what this is. Wow. Unless I just got really lucky, I think they've restructured it so you get more gold at the lower end. I actually got 30 gold and I just finished, you know, 3-3, which is not very good at all. Huh. Interesting. Feel free to try another run in the arena if you've saved enough gold. It just so happens I have. But yeah, again. I finished 3-3, three, three, so I'm happy. As long as I reach 3 wins, I'm happy. Let's see what we got here. Silence. Stormforged Axe and Holy Fire. Holy Fire is an interesting card. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's all that good. If it was restore 5 health to any character that you wanted, that would be something different, but since it's specifically restore 5 health to your hero, it's kind of eh. I mean, it does 5 damage, but for 4... What is it? I think it's 4 mana. Uh, Mage, for example, has a Fireball, which does 6 damage. So you're, you're paying 2 less mana, and you're getting 1 more damage. And the only thing you're missing out on is the 5 health restored to your hero. Which, again, he, like healing your own hero and and doing damage to the enemy hero directly with cards. It's just, I don't think it's very good. So yeah, I don't know. It's an okay card. It's an okay card, I guess. I like what they've done with the uh, the graphics here. It looks much richer. It's kind of like bronzy and less yellow than before. Really cool looking. All right, so that was the end of Arena Run number three, which is very eventful, filled with tons of misplays and crazy stuff, and I had no idea what the hell I was doing, and one of the games completely bugged out. I don't know what was up with that. But it was interesting. It was definitely a learning experience. So I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with Arena Run number four.